Hey guys, this is Tom Sorcy, back again, talking about some more bowling balls. Today we are looking at the Storm Torrent. Pretty excited to talk to you guys about this one, uh, something that I use very often. Let's just get right into it. R2S solid cover stock. You've seen R2S on all sorts of stuff, uh, and it's hybrid form on the high road. Uh, high road solid in the solid form. We talked about it recently with the code black. Very versatile cover stock. Also, it tends to be relatively different from ball to ball. So we don't really know much about what we're going to see until we throw it. it. tends to have some different characteristics. Booster HV High Volume Core. New core. You can see a picture of it there. 256044 for 15 and 16 pounds. Again, you know me. Don't really want to get into it. I want to see what we're seeing on the lane this is mine here it's pinned above the ring finger it's four and a half inches there is no extra hole we are bowling on the tower of pisa kegel pattern 41 feet probably had 20 or 30 shots on it when i started to throw these shots so let's take a look see at how she looks one of the things that you'll notice right away is it's pretty smooth not as smooth as our stronger, slower response balls like the Phase 2 Haywire, things like that. But this, to me, is such a huge gap filler. It's right in the middle. I look at it as having medium friction factor and medium response time. You can see from the shots here, it's smooth, it's predictable. It doesn't really overreact to friction. It's not as strong as the slow response balls, but it's not too weak to be able to be usable with medium to high volumes of oil. We have a lot of really good, strong, slow response balls. We have a lot of really good, quick response balls. And there's kind of been a missing gap in the middle, something that is both medium response and medium friction. And this ball really fills that spot for me. It's a ball that I can get to once my slow balls uh, begin to plaque or when they're too strong. It's a ball that I use at the beginning on house patterns, very many of them, uh, and it's something that I've gotten a lot of use out of. So the ball that we're comparing it to is the rocket ship, and I expected them to be close, but not as close as they seem. What you'll notice very slight differences is that the rocket ship is very similar from a creating friction standpoint still a medium friction factor ball but it's slightly quicker and as you watch some of these shots here it's a little hard to tell but you'll notice on a few of them when it sees the friction at the end of the pattern it has a slightly sharper move if it gets a little further right it's got a little something to get back uh, if you get it in on the flatter part of the pattern, you're going to see it really try to turn right here. We almost 490. You can see it there off of the friction a little quicker, but much, much closer than I expected it to be. Uh, in my eyes, I had seen it as quite a bit quicker than the torrent. But after throwing them, at least on this pattern, and that's the important thing to say, I think that they're pretty close. I would say this rocket ship best used medium friction factor medium quick response time uh, if you're having trouble getting the torrent through the pins uh, this might be an answer you see me kind of chasing it left here i'm still able to get it around the corner which is something that you see with the quicker response balls even that one got a lot further to the right we still got to come back from deeper uh, as this quicker response i think that they play well off each other i think that if you use the torrent, the next ball in line is the is the rocket ship, or if you're trying to use the torrent and it seems just a little too slow, then you have this rocket ship to get to without having to get all the way down into the no rules pearls and the high roads and the reckons of the world. You've got something that's still a little smoother but with a little more kick when it sees the friction. So let's talk about it here. Let's recap. Torrent, medium friction factor, right in the middle, medium response time, Something that I love because it makes it versatile. You have something that's not pigeonholed into one particular type of pattern or transition. Uh, it being medium means that it's usable on so many different things. And that is why it's a huge gap filler. It fits in a spot where I've had trouble finding balls to fit. 
Balls like the rocket ship were a little too quick. Balls like the IQ Tour were a little too weak. Uh, I didn't have these this medium medium look, and this really has gone a long way for me to be to fill that spot. So, quick one today. It's a little easier when you have something that's that's so I guess medium, uh, but again super usable. Uh, didn't want to kind of drag on. Wanted to really just hit the main points. Some people like to use the word benchmark ball. I don't like that because it basically means that, you know, it depends on, because the balls you choose depend on what you're bowling on. And it's hard to say this is the one that I have that I use. However, this being medium, medium makes it the closest thing to that. Something that has usability on a number of different conditions, on a number of different environments. And that's what makes this ball so usable and so important in the current line. As you know, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash tmsourcy, Twitter at tomsourcy, youtube.com slash tomsourcy. I love answering questions from you guys. I love talking to you guys. Feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you think. Hope you liked the little shorter form. We have much more to talk about in the next video, which is the timeless. So that'll be a little longer. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.